Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and we have been talking about irrational and rational numbers in pre-algebra to start our year. And we've been talking about square roots. And of course, sometimes we have wonderful, nice and easy square roots, like the square root of 25, which we know is five. But sometimes we have to approximate a square root. And a lot of times uh, students are really clever and they can kind of figure out sort of where it's around. But I wanted to give you a method that will give you a close approximation, as well as incorporate fractions, which we know fractions are our friends. And so as an example, I want to do with you the square root of 42. Your first step is to, on your graph paper, and again, I will always have graph paper for you, go ahead and draw a grid that has 42 spaces in it. So I did six going down and seven going across. If you want to give yourself a little bit of time to do that, feel free. And then what I'm going to be starting to think about is what's the largest perfect square that I could fit into my 42? And that answer would be 36. Six times six is 36. So I'm going to go ahead and just take off this last block here and I'm going to use my color kind of take away those six. And I'm left with six going across, six going down, always checking our work. Right, that right there, it's left, is our block of 36. The square root of 36 is six. So I know that's gonna be my whole number. This is the really cool part. The blocks that you've taken away, in this case, we've taken away six, becomes our numerator. All right, we're almost done. We need a denominator. What we're gonna do from here is think about what's the next largest square root that's higher than 42, that's a perfect square. And that would be 49. Square root of 49 is seven. So what I wanna do here is now I wanna get 49 squares and I only have 42. So anywhere you want, we need to add those seven missing squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra row going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I just did that in different colors, so we don't get confused. Our denominator is our total number of blocks that we didn't need to get our six. So everything above our 36. Our numerator were those six that we had to take away. Our denominator, are all of these that we're not using. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. The square root of 42 is approximately six and six thirteenths. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the my script calculator. And we're gonna go ahead and put both of these numbers into the my script calculator and see if in fact we get a pretty close number. So the MyScript app, again, you can get on your phone, you can get on an iPad, I have it on my Kindle. MyScript is great because you can use your finger to write in. So let's start by doing the square root of 42. It's gonna translate my handwriting, six and approximately 48 hundredths. So let's just write that down so we don't forget it later. Six and 48 hundredths approximately. And now let's go ahead and do six and six thirteenths. In the my script, that might be a little tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that an improper fraction. So six times 13 plus six, which is what, 78 plus six, which would be 84. So I'm gonna put 84 thirteenths. And let's see what we get as our approximation. 84 thirteenths. What? Look at that. 6 and 46. 461 thousandths. Repeating. Super duper close. Very, very good. I hope this helps a little bit with approximating a square root, but of course we're going to keep practicing in class. Um, you can also look at other videos if you'd like. You can also use tiles to kind of add and take away, but I thought graph paper is something that I'll always have for you and you can easily bring home. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.